Hey guys, it's Cody Chamberlain and Matt Snade with Move Real Estate. Uh, we're walking through another house we just finished up over here in Mill Creek. Um, this is our 2400 East project um, going on the market Thursday, so two days from now. Um, you can see on the outside here, we painted the brick um, a dark green color. We were a little iffy at first, it turned out looking awesome. Did the wood wrap around the front door here. Um, if you pan over, got a guy finishing the metal wrap on the planter box, and we did the awning out there as well. Uh, Mexican pebbles in there. Pretty standard move exterior. Yep, nothing too special. Cleaned everything up, made it look good. All new, all new windows throughout the whole house. Yep. Nice offset from the darker color and everything. We did some cool lights here and here. Just some modern lights which look good. Another thing we've been doing is we're trying to keep original doors if they're in good condition. This one, they still need to put another coat of stain on it. We've got the knocker. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's the original door. So. Uh, your shoes suck to take off. It'll take me 10 minutes, that's right. I'm mean, gonna <laughs> clean again in here. Yeah, I'll do it. Exactly. Um, all new hardwood flooring oh. throughout the whole upstairs of the house here. It was a bamboo we found for a stellar price at Home Depot. Engineered uh, bamboo. Um, stuff's about three quarters of an inch thick. Really happy how it turned out. Um, we didn't have original hardwood flooring in here, so to keep costs down, we found something that worked. Um, we have a fireplace like in our Hermes house. It's pretty much the same exact fireplace, almost yeah. the same rock. Which is weird because I've never seen this fireplace like maybe one or one home ever before, and we got we own two right now with it, so it's kind of weird. But it's a very very original fireplace actually, even though you wouldn't think so after our two, two houses. Great place to sit around and hang out with your friends. We've tested it. It's move approved. <laughs> I've actually fell asleep on that. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> uh, another thing we did on these, uh, they have these rocks that are jetting out, and if you remember before, there were some of them that stuck out like really far, and it's like you could put like Your vases candles. or stuff or candles on it, and we just didn't like it, kind of was weird, so we uh, very carefully broke them off. Um, what, they use like a cutoff wheel to, to kind of... Yeah, we did a grinder line on both top and bottom and popped it with a hammer, so yeah. it made it look... Like it wasn't just a clean cut, it still had the uh, the chip look to it. Yeah. But we're, I'm glad it turned out like it did because that could have gone really bad. Yeah, it was a little risky. Um, we had plantation shutters on the whole house. Um, doesn't fit the style that we're going with, which is kind of a bummer because they're in great condition. Probably only a couple of years old. In the garage, we're going to leave them for the homeowner if they want to reinstall them, so be it. But for the look we're going for, uh, we didn't want them on the windows. So. Yeah. Uh, we're trying. <laughs> so Matt's pointing out right here, we want to put a sliding barn door here like we've done before. Our 967 house we did, they look really cool. So I'm trying to get them done before Thursday. It's going to be close, but we want to put a slider door right here to kind of separate the mudroom from the, the dining room here. Um, the dining room, cool light fixture. Probably yeah. the coolest light fixture we've done. Yeah. I, I want awesome. one. Oh yeah, they're sweet. I'm getting one. <laughs> We'll take two. Yeah. Um, LED can lights throughout the whole house again. Same something we're doing. Um, we get the rebate back on, so it's you know we, we're out the money in the front, but then we just got a rebate check back on our Hermes house for fourteen hundred bucks. I think we spent thirty two hundred dollars on the the can trim. So all in all, it offsets the cost. It's about four dollars more per can um, on paper than it would be to do the regular trim in a mold. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. swing around the kitchen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, kitchen, everything layout wise is pretty much the same in here. Everything's new. The flooring's new again. Um, we did IKEA cabinets in this house. We've never done it before. They turned out really cool. They're all stainless, um, quiet clothes on them. Yeah. And then the cedar stone countertops. Really clean looking kitchen. Yep. Turned out awesome. Until you touch it. Yeah. <laughs> if my dog was in this house, it wouldn't be good because you'd have just nose line through your whole kitchen. But. If you don't have no kids or a dog, I guess you're good to go. Yeah. Well, we're going to actually include with the sale of this home, there's these special rags that are like antimicrobial and they are like, they kill germs, plus they're like streak free and all you need to use is water. So we're going to include like a couple bags of that so that you can clean the, the cabinet super easy because stainless steel cleaner works until you touch it. And if you just leave it raw stainless and use those rags, it's actually pretty easy to keep clean. You just got to know how to do it right. Um, we kept this in here, which is a really cool feature, just these glass pieces and the opaque glass at the front door, but again, 
trying to keep as much original as possible. Did all stainless steel backsplash, which is pretty, not necessarily super cheap, but really easy install, which some of the times an easier install is better than being cheap. Um, yeah, they've got to come back and touch a couple of these panels up. For some reason, we got a few of them that did not match up the same color, so if you buy stainless steel backsplash from Ikea, yeah, if you make notice, sure it's like, the same color. Yeah, right here. I don't know why, how there's two different colors, but there is, so that's going to have to come out. Yeah, they're going to be fixing that this week, so kind of longer. Quite a bit to do here still before Thursday. We're thrashing, but we'll get it done. Yeah. Um, this fan room over here. Before, I believe this had wood paneling walls. I can't remember. I know the whole basement did, but I think it did up here as well. Mm, no? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, maybe but it had maybe. wood shutters. That's what you're thinking of. Okay. Yep. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, these beams were here before. We just cleaned them up. They still need to cut, take a little paint off them. Um, but we, you know, retextured all the walls, kept the beams. They were in good shape. Stained them up, looked good. Same carpet we've been doing. It's an industrial 30-year uh, life carpet. doesn't stain. Um, if you you know take care of it, they're saying it lasts 20, 30 years. 10 pound pad under it, so it feels really good still under your feet though. Mm -hmm. um, back over here, we didn't actually have to reconfigure everything or anything over here. We added this closet, which is kind of like a cloak closet. Well, more pantry. like a pantry. We're gonna put shelving in there. Yeah, we're gonna put shelving in so you can have some pantry space because the kitchen didn't really have a pantry, and we didn't want to take any space away from that area. Um, we still have a half bath here, which was here before. Um, one of my favorite parts about this uh, house is the backsplash. It's a metal backsplash, like a stainless steel metal. Um, really cool design. Um, again, we did actually the IKEA, which everyone says IKEA is cheap, is what they're used to, but um, IKEA's stuff has a 25 year warranty on their cabinets if you buy the high end line. So it's actually probably better quality than most of the cabinets you guys are buying. Did the same cabinets in here, the IKEA, these have the quiet clothes on them. Um, we've still got a vanity coming in here. We were going to do the same vanity, but I'm trying to find a bigger one. These were a little shallow, and for your base and sink by your washer and dryer, I'm trying to find the deeper stainless one. Mm -hmm. So that should be going in any day. Um, new flooring, of course. And we wrap around this room. This could have been a bedroom before. Yeah, this, this we left as either a bedroom or an office. Yeah. More like, most likely it'll be used as an office, but since we got rid of a bedroom over on the other side by combining two into one big master, we wanted to leave the option to have three bedrooms up so, um, so that someone could have a nursery close by their master and then this could be their you know, younger child or something like that and then the older kids could be downstairs or vice versa. You never know what people are going to do, but we wanted to leave that option there. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, the one thing that kind of was funky and why we're probably going to pitch it more as an office is your main access to your laundry room is actually through this room. Yeah. Or walk through the bathroom. Walk through the bathroom. But that was kind of the thought process. So. Yeah. Jump out here real quick. Yeah. Looks like the painter's got to come back. The problem is we had all these houses when it was like 19 degrees outside, so a lot of our patio paint, we got it done. Starts to warm up, stuff chips off, so we just got to redo it, not a big deal. Uh, but out here, painted the patio, painted the fence. You can see we've got a two-car garage out there with a carport, um, painted that as well. Awesome garage, heated garage, it's got a big steel high beam in it. And it's got room for a workshop, so it's yep. an oversized, two-car oversized workshop heated, so it's a pretty big deal. Um, you know, someone that wants to work on their cars can have a space where they keep, you know, their their project car and then also have two cars and, and covered secure parking, so. Um, master? Yeah. Nice thing about this home, we didn't have to do heating or air. We had a nice big air conditioner already that's newer. The furnace was newer. Uh, electrical? Electrical was good. We upgraded mostly good. A couple things, but everything's up to code now. A lot of the water lines were good. Yeah, we lines. The, everything was in pretty good shape. Yeah, so we were able to. A lot of the windows, too, these back windows were actually brand new in. So yeah. we only replaced about half the windows in this house. Most yeah. of them were updated, which was a score. Yep. Core components like that, windows, furnace, AC, roof. I mean, if you can get a house that has good core components, you're in the gold. Didn't we have old hardware for this? The, the, they weren't big enough size, and they were just the crappy old ones. Really? Yeah, we'll talk later. Okay. <laughs> Nest thermostat again, kind of cool. Oh, this is a different video, so you have to explain it. So the Nest thermostat, <laughs> he's thinking we just did a video for another house that you guys know, but if you didn't see the other video, uh, this is a Nest thermostat. It hooks up to your phone through Bluetooth through an app. 
and uh, when you come home it'll turn it up to a certain temperature automatically when you leave it'll go down or you can control it right from your phone and go up and down it also starts to learn your patterns um, your heat and cooling patterns so that after a while it just does it on its own so pretty cool it's like 250 275 yeah. not bad not bad for that you know we just gotta we, we there's a lot of things we just do wow factors is what we call them that's about that's a wow factor you just gotta spend a little bit extra money and put some cool stuff in so the buyers get all giddy and have that warm yeah. fuzzy feeling on the it's inside. about 150 dollars more than a regular thermostat but you walk down this hall and you see that and you're like well that's kind of cool so yeah just, you know, we instead of those old school on. pain in the butt that you don't know how to program yeah. <laughs> hold 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 run <laughs> um, this master bedroom was two bedrooms before um, where Yoshi's standing there was a wall knocked that wall out um, and we created a whole new bathroom here there wasn't a bathroom here before yeah as well as the closet so yeah so that was virtually a bedroom this was virtually a bedroom yep. uh, and that's what we've been doing a lot of basically turning most of the other bedroom into the bath and the closet which is what we did here. So. Huge shower. It's yeah, we sweet. opted instead of the tub shower combo, we couldn't fit in a separate tub and shower. So we did a massive shower, which I love. Yeah, it's a cool shower. It looks sweet. And then the closet here, there was actually a window behind this wall, which was something we had a problem with with design and layout. We had this window in the awkward space, couldn't make the closet big enough. We tinted the window and threw sheetrock and insulation up. So from the outside, still looks like a window that you know is in use, but no one can access it, so just yeah. one kind of cool thing. That way, save space. Yeah, that way we didn't have to worry about layout issues, and we didn't have to worry about how it would look on the outside. From the outside, it still looks like a window. From the inside, we can do what we what we want. So we took a little bit of brainstorming to get that figured out, but I'm glad we did. Uh, but we did uh, wall-mounted faucets, which I've always wanted to do. This is our first house, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if you're doing a full it. gut, it doesn't really matter. It's something cool that uh, that. Yeah, if you're doing a gut on a bathroom, you might as well do it. So same thing, we we didn't opt to do it on this one. I don't know why that got missed. <laughs> but usually yeah, it's the same reason we put like a rain head shower or whatever they call them from the ceiling. But that got missed on this one. Some uh, you win, some you win. So. <laughs> Can't I was win. trying not to bring it up. So <laughs> I noticed because I walked in and I'm like, shit. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah. Uh, hallway bathroom. Um, we have a tub here, so that was why we were okay with having just a shower on the other side. Is it, you know, if someone want to take a bath and walk around the corner, here's their tub. Yeah. So we've got a big bathroom with a separate tub shower, double sinks again on this side, pretty cool. Um, same cabinets, backsplash, so don't break the glass. <laughs> so we have a cool glass guy, and I just don't, I don't know if I fully trust it yet, but most glass guys have like four or five brackets like these brackets that are up here in the corner we're rolling on one we're on one for both pieces of glass here and then you have the two hinges but i don't even know how this piece of glass stays up but it i might up. knock it down if i was using the shower but for your average user it might be okay there's not a bench in that one so yeah probably stay exactly up. you're probably all right then uh just another bedroom out here um this house has really high ceilings and I didn't even notice it until we were in the project like four probably a, a full month and I walked and I'm like damn those ceilings are tall yeah so it's really and cool. it's got a slight slope to it yeah, so the whole like roof has got a, a slight pitch to it there's yep. one pitch though not like your regular like 412 pitch type thing it's just one way slanted which has got that modern feel to it so um, it goes it's taller at the back than the front so it looks really cool from the side yep makes these rooms feel bigger than they really are too yeah I mean this is a decent sized bedroom but yeah, you've got like, what, 12 foot ceiling there? Yeah, exactly. Whereas at the front of the house, they're more like nine foot, but yep. still tall. But yeah, the camp kicker on this home is two masters, basically. Separate tub and shower, dual vanity sink, and on the opposite side, dual vanity sink with a big old shower and a walk-in closet. So you basically have two masters right next to each other. And the staging bed for Matt to sleep in. Yep. Pass out. That's more like it. <laughs> Shoot down to the basement. <laughs> so the basement down here, if you watched our initial walkthrough video, it looked like a log cabin. There was wood paneling on every single wall down here. I've never seen as much wood paneling in a house than this house well, and it was Every really bedroom. Had, I'm pretty sure that big room up there had it. Uh, it, was, it was everywhere. So it was, uh, and it was real wood paneling. Yeah, it wasn't like, nice stuff. Yeah, it was like thick, like you would put that in a cabin for sure. 
We actually sold it to a guy that was going to put it in his cabin. We made like four, fifty, yeah, four or six hundred bucks. And same thing, we had a handicapped tub in the hallway oh, yeah. bath upstairs, and we sold that for a couple hundred bucks as well. So when you have some decent, nice stuff in the home, you can resell it for a pretty good price. Yeah. Are we going to use that vanity and knife? Is that still in there? Ooh, that's a good point. We'll figure that out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but these walls, when we pulled all the siding off, there was no insulation behind them. It was just raw framing and then foundation. So we insulated every wall, re-sheetrocked everything, pulled the ceiling tiles down, you know, a new electrical through down here. So yeah, changed it up, made it not look like a log cabin. Yeah, but these beams were here. We left these. I love these. But they have them down here and upstairs. So yep, they look really cool. Just got basic storage there, but a nice again a nice huge family room, just like our. Our last three projects, Hermes, Juniper, and this one all had really big family rooms, which is nice. And you all, again, and they all, no, Juniper, Juniper doesn't, yeah, but the, two of them had walkout basements too. So, you know, a lot of it's finding the right property. We just try and find the right properties that have the right things and the right aspects. You know, if for whatever reason someone wanted to make this back basement into a mother-in-law, they've got enough room to throw a kitchen back in that corner. They have a separate entrance. They have laundry down here. You could have a full-on mother-in-law to bring in some rent because the upper level's 2,400 square feet huge. above grade, or no, 2,300. That's huge. It's the size of most people's houses. So technically, you could live upstairs with your family and rent the whole basement out to another family and be good to go with 10 grand, maybe extra, to, for the kitchen. Yep. So um, same crushed glass burner, remotes. I don't know where the remote is. Is it right turned on? Yeah. Uh, bedroom. You know, just refinished. Yeah, we did bedroom, bathroom. Uh, a little touch-up work still left in here. Um, yeah, th these are just temporary doors. Uh, the same doors as the upstairs. IKEA screwed up, and there's a filler piece that will go in between. Um, we did our full-length mirror all the way to the ceiling and cut our vanity lights out of the mirror. So, you know, made this room feel a little bit bigger than it really is because there's not a lot of head clearance down here. Refinished the shower, new floor yeah, tile. This is actually pretty nice tile that was on there before. Yeah, it was just ugly. Yeah, but we just refinished it, which is nice. So well, the outer edge is new tile that's been refinished. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, laundry room down here, epoxy the floors. They still got to come paint this wall. Uh, the sheetrock just looks bad. Uh, a little bit of touch up, but other than that, do not enter. Do not enter. <laughs> I'm going in. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that door's going bye bye. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's. Pretty much it for this house. Yeah. So, thanks for checking it out. Keep an eye uh, out for more move homes. We've got a couple more. Coming yeah, we'll in do. Now, so. Yeah, we'll got a couple more coming. And one of them we're actually going to go through that isn't ours, but we're lending on it. Um, we're getting into the hard money business uh, for our. We've had a lot of people that wanted us to help them find deals, help them fund deals, and help them design deals. So that's kind of where we're move. We're making a business model for that. So keep an eye out for that. And if you're interested in that. Uh, contact me or Cody, um, Matt at MoveRE, M-U-V-E-R-E dot -E com, and uh, you can inquire about uh, how we can help you with that. But uh, thanks for dropping by, and look out for that one, and we'll kind of we'll kind of give you the details on that and on a real-life example of what we're doing. So keep an eye out. See you later.